I first visited East Java as an extremely broke backpacker about six years ago now, armed with just a Fuji X100. Now that trip left such a mark on me that I've been eagerly awaiting to revisit it again and capture that place in a whole new light. So after spending some time in Bali, in fact, quite a lot of time in Bali, eagerly awaiting for my Chinese visa to be approved, more on that in the next video, by the way, I decided to head back to East Java and revisit the incredible landscapes they have to offer out there and discover some new gems along the way. So this video is raw, it's unfiltered, taking you on a journey to active volcanoes, waterfalls, vibrant villages, while being incredibly sleep deprived, may I add. So let's jump straight on in to the city of Malang, where we begin this whirlwind five day adventure to one of Indonesia's most captivating regions, East Java. <laughs> So the road to the where the place we're heading to has been completely washed out by a landslide and uh, we're currently on this makeshift road that uh, our driver had to pay a local to come down so it's been pretty interesting. So they've made some makeshift bridges out of I guess like bamboo and uh, put mud over the top and that's what we'll be driving over. He's strong enough to hold the tracks. I've heard this is quite the adventure down to the base of the waterfall, so let's see how we get on. Mm -hmm. 
So waterfall number two of the day. This is called Capis Biru, I believe. Probably not the right pronunciation, but about half hour walk through the jungle to an oasis. So excited for this one. Well that was bloody epic and that is one thing that I love about Java is so raw and rugged and off the beaten track that you just get places like this to yourself you know it's magic absolutely magic that's got to be up there with one of my favorite waterfalls I've ever been to of course acting the goat up there I've fallen in so hence why I've got my top off and uh, my hair looks even worse than normal, so epic day, what a day. That was quite a journey going through those villages that had been absolutely obliterated by the eruption at Semeru last year was was pretty devastating to see real gnarly um, yeah I mean it took us six hours to get here um, I'm guessing it would normally take a lot quicker but a lot of the roads are no more because of that eruption last year so pretty gnarly but we've just made it we are at the sort of town outside of Bromo ready for a three o'clock start tomorrow morning. So early night and I'll see you in the morning. Noppy Doolu. On these organized tours that you do when you come to Bromo, um, they take you up to a viewpoint for sunrise and then you come back down to like the base that we're in now that looks a bit like Mars and then you can walk up to the crater of Bromo. Now, not something I really wanted to do and mass tourism is in full effect. It is carnage over there. So um, I just said to the driver, can we just go for a cruise in your beautiful Jeep and uh, let me take some photos of it. So, that's the plan to finish off the morning. You already know I've got the 85mm 1.4 on. So the only time that I think I've actually put an alarm on for the same day was probably the last time that I did this hike, which was, I don't know, four years ago or whatever. So uh, yeah, running on about two hours sleep, 
two back to back early mornings and I think I've been up for sunrise at 4am four, four days before that 